Hi everyone, we want to say a massive thank you for your support, for your prayers, uh, for an amazing week that we've had here in Burkina Faso in West Africa. Uh, myself and Michelle and John want to say thank you for your prayers and uh, here is uh, a few words from them about their highlights from this week. The highlight for me would be Sunday night. Um, the first Sunday we were there, we went out with Lafayabogo Church and the youth and we went to this little village called Tukura where at this point in time they have no building at all but they met under this sort of makeshift lean-to thing and the worship was loud and just amazing with faith and just yeah so much faith but then as we built up we got to the end and there was two people that had given their lives to God just that morning in that village and you could tell it had changed their lives it changed their eternity and changed what they were living for that's what my highlight is I think one of the first things I'd say is the sense of the Holy Spirit in this land it is palpable when we prayed at one of the first churches we linked arms to pray and there was a tingling in that circuit in my I could feel tingling I've never had that before um, at this, another church we prayed I was asked to pray for the pastor and his wife it'd be the first church we went to it was one that had been planted 17 years ago and I was asked to pray for the pastor and his wife. And I stood in front of them and I placed my hands on their heads. And there was a sense of energy through my hands. The sense of the Holy Spirit was so strong and so strong in that very, very place under that tree. I just felt enabled to give a prophecy which had not happened before. I thought I came here to help them build a church but the Lord has been doing far more building in me than I did to help them I thought that I was, that's all I was here for the Lord had other ideas and I'm so glad I came so as you've heard it has been an amazing time uh, John and Michelle have shared their highlights for me uh, one highlight was just it was last night as I'm recording this uh, we were under starlight with a crescent moon and there were hundreds of villagers in Serifadugu who were gathered to hear the gospel and uh, we were privileged to be able to do like a gospel sketch and to show them the truth of building your life on the rock of Jesus Christ and then to see I don't know 20 30 of the villagers come forward and make a commitment to build their life on Jesus and accept his forgiveness for their sin and shame. It really was amazing. Uh, that was incredible. Do you know what a joy it has been for us over the last uh, 16, 17 years to be involved here in seeing churches established. We've recognized and we've gone through the list of the churches we've been partnering with and um, to see that happen. Over eight churches, well eight churches and then we're still adding more to the villages that we are involved with and those churches are still going. And in some cases like Teshwan, uh, one village that we went to, do you know they're going on to plant other churches and that is the vision of the Legray Partnership to come alongside Moe's Ugda and the Lafayabogo Church and see churches built that go on to plant other churches. It is such a joy to be involved in this ministry. So I want to say thank you for your prayers, thank you for being part of this, thank you that you are part of this. I want to say massive thank you to the Flourish ladies as well through the Change to Change um, fundraising campaign that's been ongoing on for the last few years. Uh, do you know we were able to hand over over £1,200 from Pink Pig Money uh, to the Dorcas Project and to the microfinancing of uh, ladies to have, women to have businesses um, that go on and provide income for their families, uh, opening bakeries and uh, doing seamstress work. It's amazing to see what God is doing through the Dorcas Project and through the microfinancing. So thank you, thank for your prayers and whatever you're involved with today, whatever you do this week, make it count and make it count for the Kingdom of God. Amen.